people don't behave like this. Well, people sometimes get like mad and then just start crying. It's not like it's that far off. People can be unreasonable and then just start crying and be like, I'm sorry. Suddenly, they're completely different. Oh, I like this more. Hello, fancy home. I read pancakes. I love pancakes. Pretty fancy. And a bit odd. Oh, is he in the wheelchair? There's one big painting as well. Oh, I am here. Hi. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. I like this guy. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. I like how I have to engage with It's pretty cool. Drop him, but he's cool. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, Good there's food. the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I, don't, I don't know where I the thing is. It's downstairs? We'll see about that later. We're having some technical difficulties. We're fine. Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. That was really fast. More thing. Oh, it's gonna kind of, like push you into small into things here. I think we're gonna go this way. Ooh. I'm starving. 
Me too. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Well, where's bacon? Where's egg? Quite cold by now. <laughs> the smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. That's all. Television. Like nothing. Like too many slices. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Let's go exploring. Books. Do, uh, do I want a boy or a girl, girl robot? I don't know. Depends. Like if I had a boyfriend, probably a girl, but... <laughs> Can you play piano? <gasps> I haven't played piano for years. Hmm. Well, let's go for a hopeful. Yeah, thank you, Axe. <laughs> oh, it's a cool song. Faster. I like this song. tune. You can't just end them that way. I don't think it's like a nice ending here. Oh! Oh wait, there is an end here? Repeating, though I don't think there's an ending. <laughs> Boom. Just like imagine that note like much deeper or fine. 
Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity. Wait, there is nothing. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. <laughs> You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Well, we'll never know the end. Holy mo- a giraffe, hi! There's a giraffe, a giraffe-sized giraffe in here. <laughs> Why is there a giraffe in here? Carl, can you explain that to us? Does match color wise. <laughs> oh my god, that is. Wow. I need that. That is so cool. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheep. The hand? I guess not. No. Yeah, it's one of the... the uh, car assembly or more for like manufacturers. It's not like an arm, but like, kind of like a, an animal. <laughs> You're like a Kuka robot, yes. Just, yeah, it's in yellow. So like orangey. That you did the painting. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I like the blue. Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't. Quite defined. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Uh oh. Give it a try. I mean, I'm a robot. I can do everything, right? Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. No more options? Do I really only have these options? I 
be yourself. But yeah, but they, I only had like a few options. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Okay, come on. More options. More options. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. I imagine that Andres can simply picture something and draw it without looking. Hmm. I wonder what my identity, identity is. Is no. Mm. I go for doubts, possibly. It's gonna paint anime. <laughs> what do you guys think I think it? <laughs> Hey, Dad. Leo. Oh, it's Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? This is not seen so, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, the smile I seems very that. fake. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. I'm sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Don't do drugs, guys. <laughs> oh, we're back to this guy. Mr. RK8000. Oh. Am I allowed in here? Mm. I'm not a dog, but I am an android. Nah. 
rebellious, Jay. I'm feeling it. Oh, we can see criminal record. That is cool. Hi, Jimmy. Derek, you're a guard. Shh, you won't know. There he is. Well, he looks very different from the picture. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. Oh god, It'll too much did I choose that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no! I'll buy your drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Is driving. That's okay. He's a police guy. <sighs> no way. I'm coming with you. Oops. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. That's Kudo's fault. He won't know. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Have they said anything? Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Can I see? Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. 
and they are very messy place. Assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, the state he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the car gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. So the killer on his must chest. have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Review evidence. Ten of them. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights oh. like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? Not I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Is that the red stuff that he was vaping? I mean, the other guy was vaping. Probably. It's also red. Oh, that's ice. Oh. Red ice. Never mind. Seems our friend <laughs> Carlos liked the party. Chris, Close I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Oh, sexy. Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. Got it. <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Nineteen days old. Same guy. Ooh, reconstruct. Let's go. I love this part. Finding a demon or something? Hmm. You must be fighting the pot. I mean, pots can be very evil, actually. <laughs> okay, there's a different guy. <laughs> I wonder if that was his robot, probably. And then, yeah, I took a th he took the knife. Emotional shock. Gone mad. Okay, five more. Ugh. 
is also broken. Android 6. Well, do I do I go to page two or one actually? Mmm, <laughs> sexy time. Let's see. Can't be that bad, right? Judy Hubbard shows off her new beach bod. Sorry. Got, got a bit too hype. There's nothing there. <laughs> I have to read this. The result of our surveys in and it's official 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. Well, I'm guessing that androids probably have alive programs? Possibly. With 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once. Sorry, guys. Oh, wait, sorry, ladies. <laughs> there were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Ooh. Is your android spying on you? Hmm. More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trade partners. I mean, that's kind of like, could happen with Google as well and everything else. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. The speed of Reports linking Warren's presidency to cyber life only deepens such concerns. Several co consumers rights organizations have requested that cyber life disclose the information it gathers and who it sells the information to, but the company has always refused. I mean, that's always a fear you can have. Let's leave it on that page and not go back to sexy ladies. <laughs> Oh, you probably escaped that way. Sixty minutes ago. From the inside, killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size ten shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Cover up? Could be. Don't worry. No one wants to stay here a minute longer than they have to. Ooh, sexy pictures. There's something weird in the bathroom. Did you take a look? Ooh, bathroom. Where's the bathroom? It's weird in here. Uh oh. What could be I what could be behind the curtains? Do I want to know? Ooh. Oh. 
R A or R A Q R A nine. Is that? Like? Don't believe androids. Believe in witchcraft. R four. R forty nine. Wasn't there something over here? Oh. Gets his blood? He just walked over it. Must be an android then. Well, I mean, there are other ways to like not have fingerprints on. Ew, his eyes. Oh, close up. Okay, guys, let's have some fun. So I guess he got stabbed once and they came over here. Came from the kitchen. Well, that was after he like, hit him quite often. Got stabbed again. Then, well, then probably another like 26 times. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Library life signs. <laughs> I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Uh, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... I... ...with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to...
tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. Oh, with the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. Ooh, it evaporates. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. That's interesting. Follow me. Oh, actually, that's part of the fight. Never mind. Blue blood, blue blood. It started here. Lots of blue blood. We went this way. Oh, we actually went this way then. have gone up then. Oh, five minute climb. Um, a chair? Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Probably, I'm, I'm going to check something. Check something. Oh, it's still up here. And there's a ladder. I... <laughs> Definitely alive. <sighs> Casting help. I mean, I can just lie to him like I did to Daniel. Then you okay? <gasps> oh, hi. I was just defending myself. And the other 27 stabs. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? 
It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Be like a detective as an android, yes. 